Um, so everyone here, we're in San Francisco, everyone knows about tech, everyone kind of understands Bitcoin. Um, I'm wondering, do you think there's something missing to kind of bridge the gap to the mass market to have normal people understand, normal people, non-technological, <laughs> right. non no, normal people, people understand right. Bitcoin? Or do you think it's just that the ecosystem is too early and it's kind of this like incremental thing where you can't push it? It's, it's, it's both. We have an enormous gap. Right? We have an enormous gap in understanding. This is a brand new thing. This is the fifth major innovation of money, the most ancient technology we have in our civilization. And do you know how long it took to go from precious metals to this piece of paper has value? Four hundred years of people saying, that isn't money. Go away. And it took another forty years until they accepted that it's not paper anymore. It's a little square piece of plastic with a number on it. If we can do it in 20, that will have greatly accelerated the pace. When you change these fundamental technologies, it takes a while for society to change with it. Now, first of all, we have all of this new terminology, right? All of these new words, and no one in this room can even tell me what a blockchain is because I don't even know anymore. It's a hundred million dollars of marketing behind confusing us all about what that means anymore. It's going to take a long time for people to understand how this works, why it works, how it's different, what benefits it gives. And it's not going to be the people in this room only. It's not going to be the people on this continent. North America contains the most privileged population in the world in terms of financial inclusion, access to technology. You can swipe a Visa card, pay with your phone, etc., etc. There's four billion people who have nothing, and for them it will be a very simple proposition. I don't care how it works. I just got some white cracker three continents away to fund my seed for my next planting season, right? And and that changes. The equation completely. Money is an empowering technology. So how do we do this? We bridge the gap, make it easier to use, make it easier to secure, explain what the words mean, change some of the words, improve the designs, and gradually, as people need it, they will use it. Not instead of their national currency, not replacing the old systems, but as a choice, in parallel, giving them opportunity where they need it. So a bit of patience and a lot of hard work. Code better user interfaces. Make the language simpler. Make the experience simpler. I tell people you've probably heard this a, a hundred times before if you watched any of my talks. I sent my first email in 1989. In order to send that email, I compiled on the command line the Unix mail program. Right? It took me about 2 hours. At this point, I was a second-year undergraduate in computer science, with more than 12 years of programming in my background. I sent an email. It took three days to cross the internet. Exactly 20 years later, my mother replicated this experience by going swipe on her brand new iPad. When we get Bitcoin there, the mainstream will be ready to do it. It's not going to happen the way it is today. 